All right, this is Luke Coley. Um, I was recently playing around with QLab on a show. Um, I was having a lot of issues with uh, the volume of each track being different, and so I decided to um, try and use a plugin uh, over the QLab, and I've never done that before. So I thought I'd show you what I did and how it worked out. So I'm dumb and can't figure out how to record a voiceover and a screen recording at the same time. So I'm going to use the screen recording and uh, show you what I was doing in QLab. So I am watching and narrating. So let's see, I'm going to open up QLab. Oh, that's right. I tried to open it, but then I realized I'm going to open this project file. So here it is. This is the one I was using today. And here it is. Oh no, all these cues are broken. Uh, that's because my audio interface is not connected. Uh, this is just me opening the file, so it's just telling me that. That's fine. So what I was trying to do was, uh, rather than apply uh, an audio effect, I wanted to use a plugin here. So rather than apply it to every cue and everything, I went to the workspace settings, and then I went to audio, and I went to, I had to change a patch. Uh, normally there would be a patch there. I'd hit edit patch. And then instead of Q output, I used device output. So anything passing through this output or from QLab was running through the plugin, which was Vocal Rider. Um, so I tried this out, um, and it worked pretty well. So I made it so that it only would go up about 4 dB, but down about 10. Uh, that does remove a lot of the dynamics, and um, a purist would argue that I'm killing the music. Uh, in this case, I don't care because I'm trying to appease dancers and moms and performers and everybody else. So keeping the level somewhat consistent, uh, this isn't completely squashing it. It's only adding like 3 dB when it's below a certain threshold and taking about 10. So those real hard spikes and stuff go away. Uh, and it really made a big difference. I think um, it was really nice. And so you'll see at the screen recording here, uh, as soon as I'm done, I'll play the video of it in action so and you can probably hear the difference as well um, depending on what the phone camera picked up anyway so here it is everything that's going through here is passing through uh, my plugin and that will show that so I'm not sure what I'm doing here but I'm about to cut to the video and I'm just letting this run out